Here's what I've got on arrival. I have my rifle case. This is new and this is new. Now this is an old case I've had, but the concept of two cases instead of my one giant one that you might have seen in the past is completely new and I'm going to explain why. And then of course we have my good old tried and true 511 backpack over here. Uh, this thing, you know, I have beat the hell out of it and it still looks brand new. So um, I think this is going to serve me. I've had it for five or six years now and uh, it gets stuffed to the gills, taken to every match. It, it really holds up anyway. So let me start off with where we're at. Inside of the backpack are all my optics. So my rifle scope, uh, my spotting scope, anything that has lithium rechargeable batteries, so my chronograph and the batteries and headsets for team, and I'll unpack all that here. But that's that's what's in there. Then we get over to this case. Now, what happened is there were some recent changes throughout last year that Alaska is finally caught up on where the – and then they're kind of just catching up to everybody else now. So if you have first bag, for instance, and it's under 50 pounds – this video brought to you by Bullet Central. It flies free. I use my Alaska credit card to book my trip, so I get my first bag free. So that one's free. That's good. But I have two more under 50 pound. So that's 49 and change. That's 49 and change. And then that one there is about 38. And what's going on is that uh, that one's free. The next one would be 40, and then the next one would be 150. And then if anything's overweight, it would be another $100. So originally I used to have a big blue case and I would pack it full and it would be about 90 pounds and I would pay a hundred dollar fee for my second bag. Now that was the total fee. Now they're stacking the fee. So you have to pay second plus overweight. That'd be 140. Uh, and if you buy this year a ticket, it'd be 145. So here's what I did. I tried to work the system the best I could. I have first bag free because it's under 50. Second bag is 40 because I bought my ticket last year, but we'll just say 45 if you buy your ticket this year. And then I made a carry-on. This has ammo. This has a gun. It has – both of these have stuff in it that cannot go into carry-on. So this is a pure carry-on case, but it has my Seb Neo X in it, which is how both of these cases can stay under 50 pounds. So I'm going to work to get it all unpacked here, and I'll show you each case as I get everything out. Here is inside the rifle case. Now remember, you have to know how these are packed because you need to be able to get everything back in and keep under the 50 pound weight. So it's really important. I actually take pictures and document what's in each case so that I don't screw anything up. But here's what we're looking at. I have my tool kit. This is an Arbor die. I've got the feet. So I've got my Neo X in the carry-on, but there's no way that these are going through because they are definitely you know, could be construed as a weapon. These are 3D printed feet for my Neo X, so they weigh almost nothing. This is my ammo block. Again, it weighs very little. And then this is just a piece of my mat. And then what I've done, and I can't take credit for this, but you know, like I think we all kind of steal different ideas from each other when it comes to traveling. But what I've done now so that I can have a better mat than that cheap, thin nylon pad I had is I actually wrap my case in the mat. And this mat was exactly the length that I needed it to be. It's just enough protection. I cut out a section, which is what that is. But I now have a section, in, and I'll show you, but it's going to be where my, my rear bag goes. The other things in here are going to be uh, my handle and my carrying handle for the Neo X. And I think somewhere in here is the a joystick as well. I have uh, my PMA cradle uh, length of bar. And then the rest of the PMA cradle is inside my pouch here. Obviously my bolt and then my gun and that's it. So that's everything that's in this case. I'm going to pull it out and get it set up. And then I can start mounting my optics and get this part out of the way. We got everything assembled, so you can see I have my PMA cradle put together. I got my rifle in there. 
I double check the torque on the bedding and on the action screws. So I loosen them up and then retighten them. Mounted my scope. So I've got these set. So she is looking all good. So throw it in uh, my rifle case. It'll be ready for a little bit of fun testing tomorrow. And then we'll break out the rest here. We need to push some bullets back for sure. One thing of note, you know, I can't be responsible for other houses that I'm not in charge of, but every house that I go into where I'm renting it or where I have any possible say, I always try to take care of the furniture. So you can see here, I've got a beach towel laid out to help protect the wood. You know, I know that rental people don't expect too much out of the furniture. I always try to take care of it. So even though I've got rubber feet here, you know, I'm going to have tools that are moving around. We don't want to scratch stuff up. And um, I just think it's good. Uh, it's a good people thing to just take care of other people's furniture. So this is my turquoise case that you can see here. And again, this was a definite checked bag. This side is going to have, so this has my little cleaning cover. This has my wind cover for my gun. And then this piece of cardboard just helps hold the, car the cartridges from, you know, flipping up. This is probably one of my favorite things. I got this at Costco probably four or five years ago, but it's just a fold up, um, really warm, uh, like pillowy jacket. And that thing goes with me everywhere because it is really warm and doesn't take up much space. So I've got all my ammo here. I'm going to need to start pushing some of that back. So I'll go through that in a minute. I have the bare minimum in rain gear this time because we're not expecting anything but I always come with something. This is simply my covers and a sheet to cover my scope and action. So that is the bare minimum for my rain cover. I have my scorecard. I have a blower for cleaning off my lenses. Now this, this and the cover for cleaning my gun are not requirements. I mean, I, I bring them, but only because they fit. I have my cleaning kit here, which has everything I need in it. And it's all tucked away underneath uh, the patches there. I have a backup trigger because you can never be too safe. I have my dead bottom bag and then my actual rear rest. This is part of my tripod for my spotting scope mount. The other half of it is in there. Then I have my adjusting rod for the Neo X. I have my elbow pads for keeping out of the dirt and rocks. Uh, I wasn't sure how cold it was going to be, so I did bring just some warmer weather type gloves. They didn't take up much space. This is the shoulder pad and, and carrying strap for my range bag that I brought. This is the upright that goes with that. And then... Uh, Oh yeah, here it is. And then this is the the other piece to my um, K and M, my third leg. And here is the handle for the Arbor Press. So there's all my Arbor Press pieces, and then the rest of my ammo. So again, I'm going to get everything unpacked out of this, and then go from there. And I am fading fast. I'm exhausted. Okay, here is the last last bag. So this is. Now, I don't normally take the Neo X bag. I actually ended up uh, trading somebody for it. They really wanted one, and Seb doesn't make them anymore. And to be honest, I just don't use it, and this guy really could use it. So I'm basically giving it to him. So uh, we're just trading for something something small that, uh, that I could use. So anyway... Um, so in here, I have my tripod, some flip-flops. Obviously, I've got some clothes. And then, I mean, this is all the clothes I bring, by the way. It's very minor. Uh, I've got the Neo in there. And then underneath, you can see that is my range bag. And let me pull this out, and I'll show you what's under. Underneath the case, I had my range bag, which is just a kind of a smaller, medium size tool bag and then a few more clothes and then that pillowcase is what I normally wrap this in when I put it in a suitcase 
And then I have my pull through uh, patch worm kit, which this thing's awesome. I don't know if I've ever done a video on this thing, but it's not a normal pull through. It actually pulls through a patch, uh, like a regular patch. So, and I think that's it, some clothes. So that is how I pack and I get a lot in a little bit of room and all of this luggage cost me $40. So that's what I need to do, keep it cost effective. So you guys have a good one. I'm going to head out. You guys get out and shoot. We will talk soon.